at Sam Houston Middle School and the Joy and Ralph Ellis Stadium, it's game on for the Irving Police Athletic League's Hoops and Kicks program. We provide an outlet for our youth in the city. Um, we give them a place to come and play and, and have structure. That's what we do. If you weren't in this program, what would you be doing right now? Probably be at home all day. <laughs> be boring. On my phone. Sleep. Sleep. Home on my phone. <laughs> yeah, doing nothing. Well, instead of doing nothing this summer, Hoops and Kicks brought together Irving's police officers and students to do more than shoot baskets and score goals, but also build bonds and give these kids something to do during the summer months. It's very important because if we don't give them something to do, then uh, they can get into all types of stuff out in the streets. And so I think providing that structure uh, as role models, you know, we're there as big brothers also. It just creates an environment where they get to see us as police officers in a positive light and we also get to relate to them. I think they're going to be mean to us so they're nice. First year Hoops participant Armando Nunez is no stranger to hitting the hardwood. But since this was his first year participating in the PAL program, he wasn't sure what to expect. My friend told me about it and I came here. I thought it was going to be boring, but it's really fun. I can't explain it, it's just fun. Like, coaches are great, officers are amazing. When they come in day one, you know, they're kind of, you know, some of them are new to the program and they don't really know what to expect. I mean, we, we, try, to, we try to come up with multiple ways to keep them engaged. I like how I, I interact with everybody and like to play other people to get better. That's how my brother taught me. Play better people so you get better. It's fun to be doing something different than being at home. This summer program is free to attend and at that price, it can't be beat, especially for past participants who've gone on to take their game to the next level. We have one student, he's not here this year, but last year he came back. He's actually, he actually plays D1 football for UNT and he came through the program. Um, there's another girl who, from MacArthur, she was there valedictorian, and she now is uh, going to Duke University and doing very well there. It's not just about sports to us, we also mentor them and help them to achieve you know, later on in life. During the four week camp, Hoops and Kicks attracts about 100 kids each day who are not just making goals to win a game, but to win at life. Brett Wheeler for CitySource.